So, here we are again, back at it again, with the, with the bullshit, um, you know, see, I, I clearly just wanted to move on and not really think about this ever again, but then, um, some things came to light to me that I feel like, um, everyone else should be aware of, too. Uh, I don't know. But, before I get into that, <coughs> let me go ahead and, um, address the, uh, the new call-out post of theirs, because it's full of fun, wacky stuff again. Um, so, without further ado, let me just jump right into it. So... This is, uh, this is what they're accusing me of, is basically, from my understanding, all of this shit, and I have all of my shit to respond with. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, I would say that, uh, I've already addressed that many times. I don't know, I feel like I'm I'm pretty good at acknowledging my actions, you know? It's just that it's hard to acknowledge actions that, like, never happened, you know? Um, <laughs> I, I really tried, like, I really tried to believe it with you that, like, you know, maybe I did do something really shitty to you, but then, like, you know, I realized that, um, no, not really. Because, uh, I don't know, I, I, I can't seem to remember anything besides, I guess, possibly throwing something at you, but I don't really, it's such a vague memory of those times back then that I don't know. Um, I just have few moments that stick out to me from back then, you know. So, yeah, I already admitted to being shitty to a cat. Um, and that I can be aggressive. And if I was gonna apologize to anyone, it probably would be their cat. And no, I don't care if you're gonna say, um, he wouldn't, like, forgive me or apology or, or whatever, because it's the cat. <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, all of this. They isolated me from my friends and my family and used the fact that I had paranoid delusions to manipulate me away from people I was already unsure of. Either way, I think we are both complicit considering how we both seem to be believe in it. And even if they automatically, and if they automatically stopped believing it right after we broke up, then they were lying about believing it with me and were using it to manipulate me. Basically, like, all the cult stuff I said in the other video, you know, like, I... I, I don't know if you're you're just like acting like dumb like or something like just just pretending you didn't like indulge in it with me like I can go into my zip files of like my Facebook archive and like expose messages of you like coming to me and being like I think Kit is a pink altar or whatever you know like shut up. <laughs> You're not, oh my god, whatever, you're not above believing in the cult shit, so please, please just stop, please, please just stop, you know, <laughs> at this point, um, and also, like, they had their friends over anyways, like, I, it, the entire time, like, I was genuinely paranoid of everybody, like, I was paranoid about my mom, I was paranoid about my friend, like, my best friend, it, like, everybody in my life, like, I, I didn't trust anybody from my life. There was never a chance where I would would have brought any of them over because I just, I was too paranoid about anything. Like, I, I don't know. I, schizophrenia is fun, my dude. Um, but then they would pretend to be paranoid. They would feign paranoia, but then they would hang out with their friends anyways. Like, they would bring their friends over anyways. So, like, I don't... I don't know, dude, like, sure, like, a chunk of time, like, through 2016 to 2017, I don't think we hung out with much people, but, like, you still had people over that, like, you knew. I didn't really have anyone over at all, ever. You know, like, I remember Frankie coming and hanging over towards the end of 2017, 
I remember like Nathan still Nathan would come over all the time, you know. <laughs> I remember like we had like a third roommate for a moment that you knew somehow. Um you know, and like all of your friends online, I never like told you to stay away from those people, you know. So I don't know, dude. It, it, maybe it's kind of weird that you would like I don't know tell me that like Frankie is like this dominatrix character or whoever who's like like <laughs> hold on where 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 blonde women bad <laughs> that's that's it that's actually it um this whole conversation i'm just realizing how triggery blonde fem fem dominatrix are to me like i'm about to throw up i feel so sick looking at it like dude Aaron and Frankie, like, Frankie is, or Aaron is Frankie's dead name, just to be clear. <laughs> okay, my dude, like, okay, you believe this? You came to me with this. Like, I didn't come to you and say that Aaron was a dominatrix. You were the one who believed this. I don't know, dude. Whatever. Um, like, you know, you, I, there's no, there's no point in me going and trying to like tell you how you lied because you know how you lied at the end of the day it, it doesn't matter what i say because all the people who believe you are gonna believe you regardless though i really i really do want to see what their reactions will be soon um <laughs> but you know um you know i don't know it, it's just really funny to me it's just kind of cute and funny that you just like you're gonna pretend that like you didn't tell me all this stuff about your friends that nell was you told me that you didn't want nell to live with us or no this was before i even like considered moving in with you at like the old shitty apartment you said to me that you didn't want Nell to live with you because she was suffocating you, you know? Like, y you're the one who was shit-talking your friends. You're the one, like, you constantly do it, too. I talked to David. You know I'm talking to David now, apparently, which I have no idea how you found out, found out about the information other than, I don't know, you people being hyper-fucking-vigilant, which is really fucking ironic that you call me the stalker. <laughs> Another thing David told me was that you and, like, Frankie, like, apparently Frankie liked to initiate spying, like, things. Like, you guys would, like, ooh, let's go spy on whoever. Like, apparently this is just something you guys do. So you probably just think that I'm stalking you because you think it's, like, a normal thing because you just do it regularly. Um, which I have further evidence of also because, um, I don't know, you, uh... Uh, let's see. There's just, like, so, there's, so there's this, like, why in July 2017 did you know that David lived in Illinois? Like, by that point, I would have assumed that you would have been past the whole David arc. Like, you were going on about the dude for, like, a fat fucking minute, but apparently still in July 2017... Um, you were keeping up with him and <laughs> keeping tabs on him about where he lives, even. Like, okay. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. Okay. Um, this got really sidetracked. <laughs> I really, I really got sidetracked. Um, I, I, see, the thing is, I can't really take this seriously anymore now having, like, <laughs> what I have as far as evidence. Um, but, you know, it's, it's funny to me, because this is all so, like, angry, like, frantic, last minute, like, scrambling to find anything, like, you know, gestures, just to, like, just throw me under the bus, because, you know, why not? Um, just cause, just cause I know so much, pretty much. That's what I've concluded, I don't know, or, you know, you just, like, hate the fact that I exist, and you can't just erase me, like, you know, because I'm not one of your OCs, so, <laughs> it's really fun. Anyways, um... Oh, yeah, I've been, like, paranoid about, like, 
shit my entire life. So, like, I don't know, dude. Like, uh, it started with me being scared of ghosts and then demons, and then it turned into me being scared of, like, zombies and then Slenderman and then, like, like Masky and Hoodie. Like, I have constantly been scared of people watching me, and it's because of my dad watching my mom with binoculars outside of our house. So, you know, I don't know. It's kind of funny that you want to, like, project that onto me, that I'm, like, watching you. Because it's like, I'm actually kind of traumatized by stalking. So, like, I don't know, dude. I kind of feel like... I'm not the one trying to go out and, like, make people feel uncomfortable by, like, making them know I'm stalking them. Um, but you do. Oh, you you rub in that you stalk me all the time. But, like, everybody's just, like, accepted it at this point as normal, so it's fine. Um, you know, <laughs> your little dumb friend group is fine. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah... Yeah, I have, I have plenty of that. I could go dig that up. I don't really want to, but because I just, I'm so tired of this. They know they're lying. It's just, it's not worth my time. I have better things to focus on, actually. Um, I, I really just want to skim through this whole portion because <laughs> what I'm trying to get at <laughs> is what I'm most excited about in this whole, whole fiasco. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I think, yeah, I think we pretty much excluded everyone from our lives together, and I pretty much dismissed us both doing it as paranoid, but apparently, um, because it sounds like you just basically dropped believing in the weird monarch programming MK Ultra stuff, like, whenever, like, we broke up, it sounds like you weren't actually paranoid about it, and so why were you believing it with me? Um, I don't know, my friend Lily and my mom, they, <laughs> my grandmother even, like, everyone in my life has constantly challenged me on those beliefs, and never has they, had, never have they gone along with those beliefs? Um, and pretended that it was, like, you know, something they were paranoid about, you know? Like, that's kind of a weird, manipulative thing to do, but okay, dude, okay, sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Fucking shaking. Okay. Yeah. They never said anything to me. I don't know. Like, I, I've thought about it. Like, I've, I've really introspected. I know they don't introspect on anything that I accuse them of, though. So I, they really don't deserve my introspection. But I have introspected on this. And um, I, I don't feel like... I, I don't have it in me. Like, dude, you... You're ugly as fuck to me. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, I won't be that mean. You have an okay face sometimes. And you have big tits. And that's really it. That's, that's, that, 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 that's really it as far as my, like, sexual attraction to you goes. And I don't feel like I pursued you as much as you really want to say I did. <laughs> um, God, you... You wish, you wish I, like, oh my god. You wish I was stalking you so bad. Like, you wish I was obsessed with you. You wish you were worth it, too. Like, I know you're, you were, the whole time we were dating, you were so insecure about me going off and finding a girl who is more like MJ and everything. Like, yeah, <laughs> you're right. I do have an attraction to, like, curvier women. Um short curvy women who uh whose faces aren't so um long uh, you know <laughs> i don't know dude i tried telling you that it kind of seemed obvious what with my art but okay sure just like you know whatever whatever sure sure just you know coerced you into sex sure Oh, um, speaking of which, um, I think we actually have some evidence here of them, um, being perfectly normal and fine the entire, well, not, maybe not the, not, 
showing the entirety of Red River Dating. But you see, for some reason, <laughs> this might you might find this interesting too. For some reason, they have gone back and deleted all of their posts from 2016 to 2018. Um, hmm, <laughs> I, I, that's that's so interesting. Because um, when you go into the Wayback Machine, there's two posts of them being like, oh, I just had sex with someone, and it's great. And oh, I just topped someone, and it was great, you know? Um, so I don't know. You, you seem pretty enthusiastic about fucking me back then, my dude. I don't know where, like, why you're trying so hard to pretend that like I'm obsessed with you in some way. But it's really fucking cute. Well, actually, I do know why. I, I actually do know why. <laughs> it's really fucking cringy, dude. But um, we'll get to that. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. That. Um, this is them stalking me. That's me on Instagram, right? And this is also like a really like, <laughs> like I imagine an incel re reacting this way. Like, did you not get the joke? Like I was, like I was joking, dude. Like, I don't actually think this way about myself. It's, it's a funny meme. Like, are you, are you, do you not get, okay, whatever. Anyways, so when you go on Instagram on your phone or pretty much anywhere, um, there's no like thing where it says you know like here let me let me just show you um there's no part of instagram where like i like it wouldn't have been in suggestions that they got this screenshot because it would have said followed by this person or something you know um the only way that um it would have happened is if they typed into the search bar, like the only way they got the screenshot is if they typed these things into the, into the search bar. So that's me that they typed into the search bar. But more than just that, this is my sister. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, um, where is she? I think she's kind of got that. Oh. I don't remember. Uh. Yeah, this is my sister, dude. Um, what are you doing? Like. What are you doing? What are you doing looking at my sister? Oh my god. Also, my sister's like, like, I don't know, like, I don't know if you're talking to my sister, but she's like racist and transphobic, so <laughs> have fun, dude. Like, she wants you, she makes fun of people like you. Like, she came into my room with someone from, that she matched from with Tinder who was non-binary, and she was making fun of them for the way they dress so like i don't know like cool if you're working with my sister like my delusional fucking sister dude um like literally like my mom doesn't like her either because she's literally off her fucking rocks she doesn't get <laughs> this is i don't know i guess people who like think therapy is evil have to stick together i mean i guess because of your like religious origins it kind of makes sense that you feel that way but okay let's 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 just let's 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 move on. Let let us move on. There's more to go through. Um, um. Uh, yeah. I, I never said I wasn't white. I okay, like you're you're whiter than me. Like <laughs> as far as skin tones go, like you're literally like you're you burn in the sun. I get tanner. Like I don't know, bitch. You're whiter than me. <laughs> um, I don't know, dude so fun it, it, it's fun it's really fun that you're like trying to like call me out for this um i'd like to emphasis emphasize on this 
because uh, we'll we'll come back to this later. We're we're gonna come back to this one later. Uh, <laughs> I don't say it now. Uh, you can ask anybody in my life. <laughs> I, I I don't say this. Um. Sometimes when I'm listening to rap, but it's just like an autopilot thing, and it's usually the songs that like I'm used to like rapping it to, like old Kid Cudi songs or something, you know, like that's really it. Um, this is supposed to mean I already apologized for saying this, not that I s apologized in 2013. I definitely didn't apologize in 2013. I did not take it seriously back then. But I already apologized for saying this in 2013, and I acknowledge this on my Twitter and on Tumblr now. Yeah, I'd like to know, because, like, you were 18 years old, um, literally two years before I started saying it. Um, and I, I learned it was bad, you know, by 15 at least, probably before then. You know, um, let, let, let us, let us keep going. Uh, no, I was called out once, and then my old posts got resurfaced, and then the person that I was having the heated dis discussion with, um, focused on my old posts instead of ho focusing on anything we were talking about, and, um, I... I didn't, like, justify my old posts or say that they were fine or anything. I think I may have said that, like, it was a different time or something, and it was a different time, but, like, it doesn't mean that it was okay. Like, it was a different time, and a lot of problematic shit was just normalized. Okay? That's what that means. Like, I don't think that... I don't think that saying it was a different time is an excuse. I think it's just, like, a... Like a a description of the time like it was a fucked up time back then where we just thought this shit wouldn't was normal um i mean shit i mean wh what is your excuse like what what is your excuse dude like i don't know what are you gonna say are you gonna say it wasn't a different time like wh what are you gonna say like i don't know i um, <laughs> i know you, you probably just weren't expecting it because you thought that you were just gonna go and like you know, delete everything, and it was gonna be fine, and no one was gonna find anything, and it was gonna be fine, and you could call out anybody whenever you want, and it was gonna be fine, peachy, and cool, and yeah, and, and that's fine, you know, I understand, I respect that you really want to act like a pure person who never has done anything wrong, and all your friends are in on pretending that that's the case, mostly because they're n none of them are pure people, who <laughs> either, who pretty much enabled you the entire time you were 18 years old, um, <laughs> but let's keep going. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I've only ever, like, you talked about my trauma to, like, contextualize my actions or my beliefs, um, and also I feel like Matt just hates hearing me talk about my trauma at all because they hate feeling like they have to have any type of sympathy for, my, for me at all, which is kind of sad because I do feel some type of sympathy for them. Like, I know that the reason they feel the need to lie so much is because they're fucked up childhood with their parents and they feel like, I don't know, any kind of situation where anybody's gonna call them out for their bullshit is like that when they were a kid and they feel, like, justified in that way, but, like, this isn't the same thing, dude. I'm not, like, your dad trying to find out if you, like, snuck the cookies out of the cookie jar or some shit. Like, I'm, like, I'm some stranger you met, um, who knows all this information about you, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> I don't know, this is an entirely different situation, so I understand that you have that defense mechanism where you need to lie all the time, and it's really sad, and I feel really bad about your childhood because it was really shitty, and you could have ended up being a really cool person if you had a different childhood, but I digress. Um, you know, <laughs> so, I, I don't know, uh, I, just, I just think it's interesting that um, you just want to um, project that, um, I, I keep saying that, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know that you you just like you really don't want to like hear me talk about my problems at all. Like that's y you don't care about any of my problems. Like y y I bet you you just like brush it all under the rug and act like it all everything that happened didn't happen. Like I had so many seizures around you, and you like I guess pretended to cry because I guess you don't care. So like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know, dude. 
you're just you're the one who's fucked up man i don't know what to tell you 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 desperately need to go to therapy like desperately if anybody like you desperately need to go like desperately need to fix yourself like really bad um but anyways um <laughs> um oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah just just <laughs> um uh yeah yeah that was my yeah um yeah I, I was just read it out loud to you you know that's funny because when we broke up you said something oh you really not you villainize anyone that calls you out like who like who like who like who the fuck called me out like who like my ex like my other ex like my ex sam who like encouraged weird pedophilia stuff um my ex sam who like called me a degenerate whenever i did call him out kind of hinting that maybe he um has some views some um gross views of trans people i don't know um if that's if that's your like i don't know who the fuck is calling me out no one is calling me out dude it's literally just you um but anyways uh, you know, it's funny because when we broke up, you said something similar along the lines of go ahead and see me as the worst person ever or whatever, or some shit. I, I guess what? Oh, and guess what? I actually internalized that. And I realized you could never amount to the villains in my life because you're worthless trash. Like you're, you're not powerful. You don't have any power. Like your way, your way of getting power is like overpowering people you see is weaker than you like okay dude you're oh you're so strong you fucking bully <laughs> like, just just accept the fact you're a fucking bully dude accept the fact you haven't changed from 18 it's fine i get it like you haven't changed it's okay um <laughs> um Yeah, so that's that's my response to that. I, I feel like I don't have to really say anything because I already wrote all of this pretty much. Um, yeah, I, I just like I just want to know where. Like, I just want to know where. <laughs> I just want to know where. Um, and I, I'm assuming that this what they're referencing is this one picture I drew. Um, uh, see if I can find it. I want you to burn him, that's for sure. Like, like if you caught on fire and died, that would be funny to me. Um, so, <laughs> maybe you're right in that sense. I, I want you to burn. Maybe not all humans, but I do want you to burn specifically. Wait, what? This isn't all... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I saw it. There it is. Yeah. This, pe this picture... Yeah, it's... Uh, towards the fucking billionaires who don't care about the planet uh unless like if you're the one who's getting offended like if the shoe fits like if you're the one who's like okay with the billionaires burning and like capitalism and everything if you're the one who's okay with like them destroying the planet then okay then maybe you are included in that but um I feel like it, it, like, you're just so disingenuous. <laughs> you're so fucking disingenuous. God, you really wish you could find anything, like, any kind of piece of evidence of me, like, doing Nazi shit, because, like, you did Nazi shit. <laughs> um, you, you did some, you at least did, like, one kind of Nazi thing that I found. Um, well, not that I found, someone else had found it for me. Um, I don't think, I don't know if that person really wants to come forward or not, but, you know, um, <laughs> Let, let's just let's just go let's just keep going you know um what, what else what else what else what else what else baby what else what else can you give me up let's find out um um i i, I don't I, I i don't know where the fuck this came from <laughs> like i don't I, I don't know i i'm i'm pretty sure this is something they accused david of doing so like i don't know uh that's funny 
And also they just like, I don't know, try to use yelling against anyone because oh, my dad yelled at me growing up. So all yelling is bad when it's used against me, even when it's justified. <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, uh, yeah, my response to that. Um, that's my response to that. Like, I, I could, I, I, I don't think my, my mom really doesn't want to like be that involved in this, but she could post her bank statements if she wanted to. And I mean, I, if, if pressed to, I guess I could ask her to, you know, um, but yeah, <laughs> like, okay. You like okay? <laughs> shut the fuck up! Just, 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 just shut up! Like, like you, we bought like it wasn't even just food. Like it was like organic vegan food. Like the expensive organic vegan food for both of us, you know, um, and pay, paid for the apartment. And it was literally just because my mom thought that I loved you. Um, she didn't like you the whole time. She didn't like you at all. Um, apparently. Um, I also think it's kind of weird that, like, at some point in the relationship, you kind of, like, took control of talking to my mom for me, because I guess, I don't know, you were pretty much paying, like, she was paying my side of the bills, and you were paying your side of the bills, and it, like, just made more sense for her to go through you, and then, I don't know, you kind of, I feel like you probably took advantage of the fact that we weren't talking to each other to kind of tell me that, like, you were broke and, like, um, didn't have any money, um, and, like, that's why you couldn't pay for rent, because that's something you definitely told me a lot. <laughs> uh, mm, you know, <laughs> let's, 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 you know, you told me that you were, like, broke and that you didn't have the money to buy, um, anything like or not buy to no not buy anything to pay for rent like you said you were broke and didn't have any money to pay for rent okay and that's that's the narrative you told me and then i guess you were telling my mom a whole other narrative i don't know where you were just refusing to pay rent i'm not sure i don't know like i don't know if you're gonna act like buying 60 dollars worth of weed every like two to three weeks significantly dented your paycheck to the point where you couldn't even pay anything at all as far as rent. Not even, like, $12 or anything. Okay, like, what? Like, and then there's this. You in 2018, April 2018, apparently you needed $1,000 because your month your month's rent went up a thousand dollars in our little fucking state of missouri you think it does that you think it goes up a thousand dollars in fucking missouri i don't know no 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 you know see this is a bold ass fucking lie see your fave lied to you about needing money uh i don't know dude <laughs> like <laughs> so funny it's so funny to me <laughs> Like, what? Were you just, like, not going to work? Was that it? Were you, like, go and fucking around? And, like, did you have, like, uh... Did you go and you have, like... I don't know. <laughs> did you go and you have, like... Did you, like, I, I was thinking, like, maybe you, like, went and had an affair or something, you know? Like, maybe you went and had an affair or something, and that's, that's why, um, you know? <laughs> okay, um, well, like, I, like, I, I don't know, I would have no reason. <laughs> I did not, I, at that point, I, well, no, yeah, by, by that point, I did not care. Um, but 2018, I, 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 um. Yeah. 
like I don't know where the draining came from. Like sixty dollars every three weeks, uh, th- two to three weeks of weed that you were also smoking at the same frequency of me. I don't know how that's draining you financially at all, but have fun. Um, yeah, I have seizures. Do you keep like forgetting about this? Like I'm in the middle of trying to get on disability for my seizures. I can't get a job. For I I, I can't get a job. <laughs> Do you not like? Okay, so this is how it works here. Um, if you get a job while you're filing for disability, they're basically gonna say, "Oh, well, see, you're working right now, so you don't need it." So I can't get a job until I get on disability. You fucking dipshit. You fucking knew this. You already knew this. Uh, whatever. Um. Uh, yeah, at this point I didn't know this because I was avoiding you, so, like, whatever, dude. Um. Yeah, I would masturbate in their bed and they said that they were okay with it. I would, I would know. Like, I, I, I asked them all the time if they were okay with shit, but it's, it's okay. Let's keep pretending that I'm the scary bad guy. You want to pretend I am? Um, yeah. Um, sure. Yeah. Can you see? Is anyone watching? There's one person watching. Cool. Sorry, I'm like high, so I'm like trying to like read this. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> what <laughs> words? Um. Oh no, yeah, like that's literally like I don't. If they were uncomfortable with me like sitting in their bed, like masturbating, they should have said something. But they seemed like pretty okay with it. In fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of the times they were like they thought it was like hot. I don't know. Um, but. Also, like, I don't know how that's coercing you into sex. Like, I, from what I've gathered, I've, I confronted Frankie because Frankie started following my mom's Instagram about Matt. Um, and I thought that maybe Frankie was open to hearing criticism of their friend because it sounded like perhaps Frankie had gone through a similar experience with me that, that Matt had, you know. Um, But also, I think that maybe they kind of just raped each other. Um, I think that's also just kind of what happened. It kind of seems like that's the case. kind of seems like they just, like, role-played raped each other. And that explains why she was so defensive. Or they. They go by they now, apparently. Um, They were so so defensive. Um, So, and, you know, I I contacted Frankie, and Frankie said, Oh, you used to say, um, apparently, they weren't trying to... um, see any criticism of Matt because I, I don't think Frankie has matured at all either. <laughs> I mean, y- if you're friends with them, probably not. Um, but, you know, <laughs> um, they said that, oh, you said uh, testosterone just makes me so horny and that was you coercing them into, se- like, how, do, how, how does me sa- just saying that coerce them into sex? I'm horny now. Oh, you're coercing me into sex. Ah, oh, like, uh, okay, dude. Like, what? Like, uh, it just seems like they're trying to shame me for embracing my s- sexuality in any way. Like, that's that's just is kind of what it feels like. I don't know. I know that they like don't believe this, but they kind of act like Puritan Christians in a lot of ways. Um, you know, and I I just feel like they're I don't know, being a little bit kind of transphobic too because like. I don't know. This is just what, like, testosterone makes you fucking horny, dude. I don't know, like, if you just, like, don't believe that that's true. Um, literally any website that tells you about, like, hormone therapy as far as, like, trans guys will tell you that it will increase your libido. 
Like, it's gonna make you fucking horny. Like, crazy horny, dude. I don't know. I, I would still, even though I was so horny, I would still never use it to make you do anything. Which is the crazy thing, because I actually understand boundaries and give a fuck about them, too. <laughs> but it's fine. You know, let's just keep pretending, bitch. <laughs> God. You know... Oh my god. Like like I even would say to you stuff like I don't I like I would say to you stuff like I don't understand cis men. Like I'm on testosterone and like I still don't feel the need to like rape people, you know? Like I would say stuff like that to you all the time too. You know, cuz like cis men always make that excuse where they're like, "Oh, I I'm on testosterone. I'm or not I'm on, I, I'm filled with testosterone and it makes me horny and I can't resist raping or whatever." But like I was on testosterone and I experienced what it's like to be on testosterone and yet I didn't feel that compulsive need to rape people and I would say that to you a lot and apparently you just have very selective memory so just are disingenuous and a liar which um pretty much seems to be the case uh, but yeah I guess I was just like a seductress on your bed you know just wooing you with my masturbation on your bed whatever um Oh, yeah, that, yeah, okay. Okay, sh okay, dude. Like, self. Like, go fuck you. Go fucking self, dude. Like, go ahead and self. It's fine. I don't, I would not miss you. I, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if I get sued. If, if you do kill yourself. I really don't. Get fucked. You, you should. You should probably rid the world of your presence. If you, if you're this much of a liar and want to, like, ruin people's lives for no reason because you think it's fun and you think you're still in high school even though you're, like, almost 30, um, it's fine. It's fine, you know, it's fine. Um, it's fine. It's, it's really, really fine. <laughs> um, like, y you, you know, you know what you did. You know what you did. You remember. You, you know what the fuck you did. You're, you're just projecting so fucking hard. You, you, you are, you, I hope you yourself. I really do. I will laugh at your funeral. Um, at this point, yeah. For that, yeah, 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 yeah. And also for this, because, yeah, you should probably kill for those things um um yeah i i literally have endless fucking notes of the opposite um but uh, we're gonna get into that a little bit later uh Yeah. Um, also, I let literally told them many times, be whoever you want to be. So many fucking times. I don't know, dude. Like, I prefer feminine people. I tried to date you while you were masculine, but I didn't like who you were when you were masculine. Like, I, I thought it was just because that, like, you know... I, I thought it was because I didn't like masculinity at the time. At the time, I thought I was, like, a straight trans guy maybe and that that was what was going on but no it was just that you're who you are when you're masculine is a piece of shit so i don't know dude i don't really like fuck with you dude like get fucked um yeah yeah like my oc teo like i let you be teo like I, like i wanted you to be teo i wanted you to be novelli i wanted you to be like i wish I wished at the time, before I knew everything about you, that you were these things, but you're not. Um, so, <laughs> we also like, we did a lot of things where we like, would draw like our characters looking similar to each other's characters to like further like in our minds, I guess, implant the idea that we were both each other's characters. And so, like, they would, I would, we would both draw Teo to look more like Matt, or Matt more like Teo, or whatever. But, like, now at this point, it's kind of just, like, funny to me, because, like, Teo is way, <laughs> way too cool for that little bitch. <sighs> um, anyways. Uh, yeah, I already said that about the cat. I never, like, I don't know... I don't know if, like, at this point, you just, like, you didn't expect me to, like, own up to this behavior or something, 
and like you just have to like deny that I even owned up to it or something, but um sure. Uh yeah, I didn't treat your cat well. Um I still would apologize to your cat before you. <laughs> I would apologize to many people before you. Um, cause I just don't think I've really done that much to you, to be honest. Like, I'm sorry that, like, you were insecure about the fact that I wanted to be with the feminine person and really wanted to manipulate me to stay with you and see if you could, like, I don't know, get me to really want to be with you even though you weren't what I wanted to be, wanted to be with. Um, I don't know, dude. But let's keep going. Um, yeah, my cat was literally fucking kidnapped. Like, I don't know. Uh, someone fucking kidnapped my cat. Like, some mentally ill person who hoarded items, we were told from the people, like, hoarded, hoarded items, not cats, hoarded items, had, like, two cats. This person wasn't supposed to have animals or something. Um, and he came back and he was totally fat and he was fine, okay? Like, I, I don't know if this is, like, a comment on, like, my ability to take care of my cat or how much i love my cat or like me letting my cat outside or if you just think that my cat ran away from me because he doesn't love me because that's hilarious because he loves the shit out of me um okay <laughs> like let, let's just go through them all so uh on the idea that maybe i just like he just doesn't love me and i just don't take care of him uh that's not true because i definitely fed him all the time um, I love him. I pet him all the time. He's my baby. He sits on my lap all the time. Like, I don't know, dude. You know that he loves me. Like, he was literally kidnapped by someone. Like, I, I, I don't... It, it definitely wasn't a matter of him not coming home because of me. He was quite literally kidnapped. He was... We found him in Waterloo, Illinois. I don't know. It was very weird. Um, but, you know, uh... Uh, aside from that, let, let, moving on from that point, because I know that he loves me, and you could say whatever you want, I know the truth. <laughs> it's just funny. Um, but anyways, uh, maybe that you thought I was irresponsible about letting him outside. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll admit that back then I didn't really know that much about, like, cats and, like, how they infect, uh, affected the environment and everything. And I was just so used to letting my cats outside. That's just kind of how I grew up. I used to always have outdoor cats. That's just how it was. Um, you know, and I always thought it was, like, a cool thing because cats go hunt and everything, and they bring stuff home, and it was fun to see, like, that circle of life thing growing up. But now I know that uh, endangered birds and everything, but whatever. Um, so, like, I, I don't know. You don't got to worry about that now because he's definitely an indoor cat now. Um, for the most part. I mean, he can go in my backyard where I'm at now because he can't really climb out of the fence. But, um, yeah. I don't know. He's my child. I don't know, dude. Like, <laughs> stay mad, but, uh, I don't know. Stay mad that my cat loves me and that animals love me and that you just really need to project the idea that animals don't love me because I think your animals probably don't love you because you let their litter boxes fill to the fullest extent and also i don't think you properly ever introduced your cats and i don't think that they really like each other because that's the thing you told me because you always told me about how everybody loved cosmo and you hated how everybody loved cosmo and how luna was stuck in your room and how she was stuck in the corner of your room and you hated how everybody always loved cosmo you never loved luna and luna was scared because of her apartment and it was always so sad would make fun of Luna and everything, and I'm like, oh, and I'm like, okay, so there's clear, aside from everything, there's clearly a, like, balance between Luna and Luna that you have not, that I feel like Luna doesn't feel safe, like, to fully express herself because of Cosmo, at least that's what I picked up when I was there, but <sighs> let's keep going, um, actually, that's, that's, that's pretty much it, like, I don't know, um, yeah, I take care of my cat, I don't know, dude, like, I just hated Cosmo because of my trauma. Sorry that you can't accept that being the case. Sorry that you really, really just need to see me as this horrible person instead of, like, this incredibly fucking traumatized person. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I'm just vividly traumatized, dude. I have fucking issues constantly. Like, I have hallucinations constantly. I have, like, I don't know. I don't know what you want. So, um, that's, that's that. But, uh, let's, let's move on to something else, because, uh, that, that's, 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 that
I had all of this. This is all them, you know, shit talking all of their friends. I've already posted this on Tumblr though. Um, just look up Frankie on, you know, my Tumblr and it'll pop up. It's probably the one thing in there. It's tagged in there. Um, it's just like a, a whole thing is just them shit talking their friends. So, you know, but I, it's time to move on because cause there's more because there's more. Um, first of all, I want to address this one. Uh, yeah, so I hope we can put it to rest. I hope we can put that one to rest, my friend. Um, I don't know. I just, I, j j j you know, um, <laughs> I hope we can put it to rest now. Um, here we go. See, here's here's our whole thing. Um, let's see. I, it's it's this one, right? Okay, let's let's look. Um, oh wait, we have to go. Yeah, we have to do. Um, cause, cause you deleted everything, cause you're not hiding anything, of course. <laughs> of course not. Um, of course not, no. Uh, well, well, always you had to hide, right? Like, <laughs> Matt, are you kidding me? Like, no. You really? Matt, you don't think Matt would do anything wrong, right? You, you don't really think, you don't really think that, do you? Well, uh, see, I have my doubts. Um, let's, let's, let's look at the, the, let's look at the, oh my god, let's take a deep dive, y'all. Let's see, when was this? This was, uh, 2008 or 11. It's not 8. October. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, dude. 2011. 2011. This is 2011. You were 18. You were 18. You were 18. I knew it was wrong to say by then, bitch. What? God, dude, you were so fucked up at 18. What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> tell me that I'm terrible it's because you know you know you know that I know you're scrambling so hard you're s you know that I knew about this I couldn't remember the name of the website but the other person found it they figured it out I don't know apparently you posted posted about it before I think on DeviantArt or some shit um <laughs> but so glad I remember you told me about this website because you probably don't tell everybody about this website, do you? You probably don't tell everybody about your time on Cupica, do you? Because it's <laughs> it's a wild one. Let's fucking go down the rabbit hole, guys. <laughs> oh, here's Frankie embracing her and or their animosity, also, you know, with pictures just to make sure. <laughs> so you know, you can't just use a lot of it. Um, I don't know. You want to start with the worst shit? Because I kind of want to start with the worst shit. What's this? What's that? What is it? What is it? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for an answer. You were 17, close to 18, and you still you still thought you, it's not even a still thing. Like, because <laughs> at the time I I tried to make excuses for you because I was like, oh, you know, like when I was a kid, I did like I thought rape was the same thing as sex too, um, you know. Um, and it was like, it, well, that was mostly because my brother had in the first thing I knew about fucking sex was from my brother showing me porn 
that was like rape porn so that's that was my perception of sex i thought that rape porn was just like like rape was just another word for for rough really rough like basically unconsensual sex but like i didn't know like what unconsensual meant i didn't know that like you weren't supposed to like it or like well i knew you weren't supposed to like it but i didn't know you were supposed to just accept that it was happening basically my whole mindset on the whole rape thing was forged because of my trauma Meanwhile, you just apparently at the whole age of 17 to 18 years old, younger, well, you, you did it when you were like 16 and younger than that, I'm sure, too. But apparently you kept it up until you were fucking 18 years old. Um, yeah, see, I dropped, like, like, I learned, like, the difference between rough sex and rape very quickly when I was like 13 years old and I I also never made justifications or said that rape was fun um growing up uh it was always framed in my comic as sort of like this tragedy that like my OC Teo was trying to save like the character that was supposed to be me that was being raped from the guy who was raping her but she was so like I don't know um the word I used back then was Stockholm Syndrome. She was so that that, like, she didn't know to stay away from him, basically. Um, it was kind of, like, fucked up and dark, <laughs> um, but, like, it wasn't the same at all. I never, like, fetishized it like this at all. I always thought it was like this thing that I just had to accept would happen to me because of my trauma. I don't know what excuse you use. Um, and, and I mean, this, this isn't even it. Um, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's very uncomfortable for me. Um, you can you can pause the video and read it yourself. I'm not gonna read it for you. Um, these are just stories. Do I have these organized? I do. Right. Oh, no, I don't have these organized. See, I need to put a one after. There we go. That makes it better. Um, yeah, let's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Story. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm confused. Uh, oh, yeah. Apparently, like, Frankie and Matt dated... Um, no, wait, this isn't it. Um, <laughs> it's just so weird. Um, this is cringy as fuck. Um, but, like, apparently, like, Frankie and Matt dated. The way Matt framed it was that, like, they couldn't date Frankie because Frankie always wanted to, like, date cis guys, but apparently they did actually date, so... I don't know, I, it's in, it's like, on Frankie's Topeka, whatever. Um, but yeah, let's keep going. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. You know, it's all just like a very weird rape stuff. I, I can't bring myself really to read it all because it's very cringy, and it's very gross. Um... But yeah, it's it's all just really cringy and gross. Um, you know.
Yeah, I thought this was like a little bit too honest. Um, so, uh, l l let me. Uh, no, I let me let me uh also address these because this was a. Uh, what was on their Tumblr at the time? Yeah, um... That was pretty much the entire relationship, was them topping me, so I don't know... I don't know. Keep this- keep this fucking narrative, though, dude. Um... And then this? Yeah, like, it kind of seemed like you just had a normal, consensual relationship with me until you fucked things up, until you had to gaslight me into, to believe it didn't happen. So then when we did break up, you could immediately accuse me for doing something to you because you didn't want anybody to find out that you were actually a shit person who draws rape stuff at the age of 18 years old. Uh, here's another one. <sighs> you know, like, they just thought it was, like, a meme. And, I mean, I, f to me, it would have been maybe slightly more excusable if you were, like, I don't know, 14 or 12. Maybe not 14. 14 might have been a little bit too old, but, like, 12 or something, you know, because it'd be understanding if you were, like, somehow somehow got to a point where you believed that it was fine. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, they just kind of treated it like it was a meme, so that's really fun. Um, here's their Nazi shit, by the way. I don't know what this is. I, I don't know what this is. And then... Um... Okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, and also, just to make sure, um, I'm not the only one who hates them. This is someone who has sent them an anon before in the past um, that I found through looking through Facebook Messenger pictures. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta agree with this anon. I really gotta agree with this, agree with this anon. I think that's really funny now, looking at it in the back, in the in the past. Um, that, you know, they definitely were okay with being MJ at a point in time, or at least pretended to be, because they wanted to manipulate me to stay with them. Um, you know, and also they were totally fine with being a cancer, and being the moon, and me being the sun, and it was a cute thing at the time, until they decided to randomly get competitive with me about it. But let's keep going. Here's, here's another one of them doing rape. Can you can you hear the exhaustion in my tone? Like I I just want to give up. Like I I'm, I'm so tired of focusing on this. I just want to put this out there and be done with it. Like you know like like I'm, I'm, I'm I don't give a fuck at this point. Like you know you're a piece of shit. Like this is the kind of shit you were writing at like the the ripe age of seventeen to eighteen, dude. Like you should have known by that point, it was bad. Y you really should have known. But, you know, let's, uh, keep it pushing. Um, so, I don't, what is this? What is that? Oh, this is one of my attempts at breaking out with, breaking up with them. Uh, many of those. I have many of those. This is another one of my attempts at breaking up with them. As you can see, it has been untouched. So I didn't edit the text or anything to make it say this. I also have literally all um, of those notes, all of these notes here, but I understand I'm sure someone at some point said something like, oh, he went in and edited those, uh -huh, uh, so we can't trust him. So I, I did download these at some point in 2019. I don't remember when, but at some point in 2019, I did download these because I guess I wanted to save my notes. I don't know. Um, so let's just make sure. Yeah, that was definitely written then. 
So, I mean, I don't know if you want me to go through each and every one. So yeah, it's all here. I can go through each and every one if you want me to make sure that that's actually the day that I posted it and that it's unmodified. But it doesn't seem worth my time. Because at this point, I feel like I've made a pretty compelling case against them. I mean, I don't feel like I have to say anything. I think I just have to show people because they don't want people to know that this is who they really are. Because I, I wish I knew you were 18 at the time. Like, I, I guess I didn't really think about it back then. Because I, I wasn't that, like, focused on you talking about Kupika. Like, you did try to talk to me about it. But, like, I don't know. I just looked at the pictures you showed me. And that's all I really remembered. But I, I really wish I did pay attention. Because I didn't realize you were fucking 18 when you were posting stuff about rape. Um, that's kind of fucking weird. I don't know. That's kind of, like, really fucking fucked up. And sketchy. I don't think... I think there's a lot of fucking things wrong with you, dude. I really think you need to go to therapy. Um, but, you know, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's keep pretending that, you know, I'm, I'm the bad guy. Sure. I mean, we could keep going. We could keep going. I don't know. That's where that rape time comic is. Right here. They just thought it was, like, a cool, cute, quirky thing, I guess. I don't know where it is, but there's there's some point in here where someone's making a comment about Des, and they're like, wow, we should really get Des therapy, a therapist. And I'm like, damn, I really fucking agree with you, dude. You really fucking should. I really, you really do need a therapist. Really bad. Also, this is one of the images I'm pretty sure you showed me of Frankie, or Frankie, Perry, when you told me that Perry was like, a rapist it was like that image or an image just very visually similar to it um so yeah i don't know i i don't know i just found it kind of interesting and cute that's all um what was the thing about frankie that i wanted to show you um i don't remember what it was something go here and then you learn that jack had an account but for some reason it's deleted i wonder why i wonder what could have been on that account that we didn't see i wonder what this is all I, this is all we have we don't have much much going on here um this is funny Cause you still act that way <laughs> so so stu you're like a high schooler you're like a little literal child god <sighs> um i don't know i mean at this point like i don't know do i really have anything else to say i mean i know they're gonna say you're stalking me i mean i i I don't have a way to show you that, like, this isn't mine. Well, I, I think there's a way I can show you, but I don't know if that person really wants me to show their email. Um, but, you know, like, I, I'm the one who's trying to drop this, but, you know, I understand that, like, this stuff is sort of like a revelation for, like, people who, like, don't know what they're like. So, like, at this point, like, I'm kind of on the page of, like, uh, okay, like, thinking about that, it just kind of sucks, and trauma is triggering, not traumatizing, but it's, it's just triggering, um, but, like, I understand how everybody else is kind of, or not everybody else, but this other person, and, like, probably anyone else who will see this, and probably will end up changing their mind about Matt, because I think that they've probably hidden this stuff pretty much from everybody, um, you know, 
I understand. If you feel the need to talk to me about this, just don't. <laughs> just don't feel that need. Um, I, I've already gone over this a million times. I've posted my thoughts about it on fucking Tumblr a million times. I, I just want to get back to my life. Like, this person is a piece of shit. They don't want to own up to their shit. I've been owning up to literally everything that I've done. I've been revealing things about me I've never revealed to the internet, truly. Like, stuff about me being raped and everything. Stuff about, like, my old comic. You know, like, at least I'll, like, own up to my shit. But, like you and like your friends you're you're in on it together because <laughs> frankie doesn't want to admit that anything's wrong with it because frankie i'm pretty sure had some shit normalized to them because of you know their childhood um and then you don't want to admit there's anything wrong with it because you just have like this ego that you like can't let be like smeared in any like capacity like you can't you can't let anybody know about who you are at all. So, I don't know. Um, but I think that's that's really it. Like, I mean, I can go through these if you want. But it it's just kind of doesn't seem like it's, it's worth my time. I feel like I've already gone through the thick of it. Um, you know, I feel like I've made my point, um, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, you know, I... So, you know, I, I would love to hear your explanation, Matt. Uh, I would love to hear your perspective on why you, like, were kind of a low-key rapist in a lot of ways. Like, at least had rapist tendencies. Y you know what? I'll be fair. I don't think that you're necessarily a rapist. I think that you had tendencies of a rapist normalized in you. So you don't recognize when shit is bad. Like, I, I, you know, maybe you do feel like I was shitty to you or something. And maybe you felt like you wanted to, like, defend yourself against me somehow, right? Um, but no one who is, like, healthy, sexually healthy in any capacity would think that, like, grabbing someone behind from behind is, uh, in a a good way to defend yourself there's no excuse for that but i'm sure you're gonna try to find some sort of excuse because <laughs> you know everything you're accusing me of a lot of pretty much most of it is projection you know saying that i won't own up to anything that i i'm doing but i'm literally doing that constantly you literally never own up to anything you act like it. all of this stuff you posted it at the age of 18 never happened you act like you never like <laughs> you know what's weird to me you know what's weird to me how i was like i don't know 14 15 years old you know oh wait i can't look on my computer it's gonna do the thing well, if you look at here, how I was like, if you look on the Wayback Machine and look at my Tumblr or whatever, um, yes, you will find me saying the N-word somewhere in here. I've already owned up to it. I've already apologized to it. I don't know what you want me to say. At least I was like, I don't know, we're 14 years old instead of 18. But let's keep going. <laughs> um, in here, there's like me, uh, me reblogging a GIF of like this. As you see, it's going to gonna block it off though real quick um i don't know thinking back on it i think it's kind of weird how i guess you like normalized the idea in me that like the creepy pastas were like sexual and it's also really weird that you like i don't know you ca i feel like you definitely knew that your audience was mostly children and that and yet you still posted a lot of sexual stuff so i don't know like there was a picture of like ben and jeff fucking or something I don't know, dude. I just think that's kind of weird. Um, personally, I, I, I feel, in a way, groomed. I don't feel it was necessarily direct grooming, but I do feel, in a way, groomed to, you know. I just had this whole other perception of you. I thought that you were just, like, someone in town who, like, I don't know, would have similar interests to me, and I wanted to be friends with you, so I would, like, 
free blog creepypasta stuff and post creepypasta stuff, but since, like, you don't care about anybody and you think anybody, like, who knows about creepypasta or Marble Hornets is a fan of yours, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, you know, you just thought that me doing that was just me being a fan of creepypasta, I'm sure, and you didn't care. Like, no, I was trying to be your friend. I hated creepypasta. I hated the way that, like, Masky and Hoodie were taken over by Creepypasta and, like, nobody acknowledged the original creators of them, you know? Like, I didn't like that. I I always hated Creepypasta. I know that it's a little bit petty now because I think they're still technically getting exposure even if Creepypasta people are, like, taking it. But I still just wish that, like, there was more, like, acknowledgement of, like, their project because it looked like a lot went into it and I just really liked Marble Hornets growing up and I didn't like that Creepypasta people didn't respect anything and it kind of seems like they don't. They don't respect anything at all. So, um, you know, that's just how I feel about that. Uh, I don't know. Um, at this point, I, I just kind of feel like, I, I don't know. What, what else is there to really go through? Um, I feel like I've gone over everything, so. Well, I hope that you get therapy. Um... I hope your friends can start looking at you with a critical eye. I don't need the, I don't need your friends to stop being friends with you. It'd probably be worse for you to not have any type of support, because then I don't know, you'd probably just get worse and become a worse person. But, like you tried to do to me, <laughs> you know. Um, but anyways, um, you know, uh, I don't know. I just hope that they can be more critical of their friend that they're so eagerly willing to defend for, uh, I don't know, this kind of fucking behavior. Um, <laughs> like, it's clear that they're just trying to find anything to attack me with because they know I know this kind of stuff from about them. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, I don't really know how to feel at this point. I'm tired. I wish that they could own up to anything, but uh, one of the key things about narcissists is they don't allow for closure at all. So I have to find that closure within myself, and that's fine. Um, I hope that they can find a way to stop hurting people, become a better person. You know, I don't know if I'll actually forgive them. I know I said that before. I, I don't know if I really care if they live either, you know. Um, until they change, and I see that change, and it's very obvious that they've changed, I don't know if they will deserve to live, is how I feel. Um, so, I don't know. Have fun with that information, though. Um, I hope it really, like, sheds some light on my perspective of this individual. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know. So, uh, good luck. Oh, there's an echo? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I didn't realize you were here. Oh, no. <laughs> How do I stop the echo? I can't stop the echo. It's already, I already did the whole video. <laughs> it's already too late. I wish I looked at this. Damn it. Ah. Uh. Is it going to be annoying? Is it going to sound annoying? <laughs> I see. Okay. My, my microphone stopped working. So I'm recording through my phone. I don't know. Well, the tweets, what, which tweets, um, what tweets should I pull up? You, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. At this point, I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just exhausting. So, yeah. The Jeff one. You mean the ones where they're like, um, where they're saying stuff like they never like encouraged the idea that Jeff was like, I, I mean, they did age up Jeff. Like, that's kind of weird. They also aged up Kit. Um, that was the weirdest thing to me personally, because they definitely had Des raping Kit, Kit a lot, apparently. And then, or they aged down Kit, actually. Not aged up. What am I saying? They aged down Kit. But then they aged up Jeff for their comic, essentially, from what it seems. 
I don't know. They say that uh, it has nothing to do with, like, like they didn't know that he was a kid or something. But I don't know. I don't know. At this point, like, I, I don't know. Like, do you want me, like, do you want me to, like, go into the Discord and, like, get the tweets? I didn't know if he wanted me to do that. You know, uh, no, okay, okay, I mean, whatever, you know, I just feel like at this point their behavior is really evident if you pay attention to it, um, <laughs> if you actually pay attention to it, um, oh wait, actually there were some things I wanted to go over before, um, fuck, I forgot this, I forgot this, um, you know, I already did that, yeah, already did that. I already talked about that. Oh, this is the thing I wanted to address. So, like, it's not, I don't feel like it's immediately obvious to most people. I mean, maybe it's just immediately obvious to, like, me and, um, ma magic, or ma magic Ferex. Is, is that how you pronounce your name on here? I don't know, you go by many different names everywhere, so I'm just gonna assume. I don't know. Um, but, um, it's obvious to us because I've, I've explained, like, my side of things and how I see things, you know, and, like, um, you know, it, it's easy for us to pick up on, but it's just, like, they do these things, like, it's almost like all of their tweets and, like, posts and everything, they're laced, like, expecting me to view it, you know? It's really weird, like... They, they really expect me to stalk them. In those comics, or oh, in those um, writings that um, I showed you earlier that I asked you to pause and read, um, there's there's a lot of stuff about, like, Dez stalking them. I think they kind of have, like, that as a fantasy, not in the sense that they want to be raped and stalked, but they want to feel that important. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. Um... I don't know. They they really expect me to look at their stuff. I, I, I really don't. Um, my friend here has been feeding me everything. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <sighs> Make you change. I hope you get better. gonna pretend I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm so sorry. I'm literally dumb. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, okay. No, yeah, I was gonna say, like, every name is different. But I mean, I, I think that's cool. I don't know. I don't think that's a bad thing. I was just saying, like, it's not hard for me to know what to call you. So I'm like, should I call you this one? Or, you, you know, whatever. Whatever. Blah. <laughs> um, so yeah, that that that's 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 that. Uh, yep, that's pretty much how I feel. So I don't know. Pause to read everything that you want. Um, I don't know. I I hope this pretty much uh helps you. I don't know how this will help you. It'll probably fuck up your childhood if you grew up with creepypasta and all this stuff. I'm sorry to be the guy to ruin it because I'm sure you hate me. <laughs> the, shocking. Or wait, what is it? Breaking. The worst person you know is right. <laughs> that, that's me. I, I will put it on YouTube. Don't worry. I, I'm going to do that next. Um, so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this. Probably not. But thank you for indulging with me in the past um yeah thanks goodbye <laughs>